And Selena Gomez with Magic in the Morning. I'm Jeff Garfield. We mentioned Mike Barrett joining us with Good Policies. We do this on Tuesdays at 835. Mike, good morning to you. Good morning. Easter was uh, good? It was excellent. Oh, Jesus. Did everybody have a good time? <laughs> everybody had a great time. <laughs> we were so happy. 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 All right. Enough of the Easter jokes. Hey, good to have you in. Um, <laughs> we always uh, get together and we educate. Uh, you educate. Us. We try, I try. On I good, can't guarantee that I'm educating, but I'm, I'm trying. Well, it is. There's good policy practices, and we've talked about everything about the benefits in not so benef- beneficial steps of bundling insurance policies. Correct. We've talked about how people who don't own a home can add renter's insurance mm-hmm. to their automobile insurance and save money. Mm-hmm. There are all kinds of ways to save money with insurance. All kinds of ways. And what what creates that opportunity is a discussion uh, with somebody who's in the know that can lead you down the right path, hopefully. Uh, and last week when we were talking about bundling, I had brought up that some companies call it packaging. Right. Those who call it packaging, it's interesting. We have a, I can think of one carrier in our office, but I know there's more out there, that they actually create what's called a package. And so they package the policy as one. So you would have your home and your auto with the same policy number, all in the same mailing, all in the same documentation. That's kind of a cool thing. Uh, and there's some enhancements of coverage they could provide it with that particular company. Um, but when you're t- talking about maybe having home and auto with the same carrier uh, or bundling, there are companies out there that create a package. And for convenience sake, that can be pretty nice. And then, you know, with this company, you start thinking, well, what if my home insurance is paid by my mortgagee through an escrow account? How does that work? Well, the billing can be split on these types of policies. So, just all about a dialogue and and looking at different opportunities. Well, and the way we always do it, we always, at the end, and we're not ending right now, but always at the end, that is why we always say, have the conversation. Correct. Correct. You don't know if you don't ask. You don't. And uh, let's talk about umbrella policies. Okay. Are you familiar with an umbrella policy? (laughs) No, and that's why you're here. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) Excellent. I want to learn something. It's more than just singing in the rain. Okay. Uh, So what an umbrella policy is, And I will tell you, uh, you know, I've said that the renter's insurance policy is probably the most underutilized uh, policy out there because it's so affordable and everyone who rents really should have it. An umbrella policy is also a very underutilized policy. And what is an umbrella policy? An umbrella policy, look at in your mind, close your eyes unless you're driving and picture an umbrella and then picture your home, your auto, your boat, your motorcycle. Uh, all all below the umbrella being protected from the rain. Okay. okay. Makes sense. All right. So those are what we call your underlying policies, your home, your auto, and everything like that. So the umbrella policy is there to protect you for liability purposes uh, if your underlying policies become what we call exhausted. So if you have a half a million dollar liability on your auto policy and you're, you or, or somebody who's insured by the policy gets in this catastrophic accident, multiple injuries, maybe somebody's uh, uh, paralyzed for life, we could be talking some serious money, right? serious money. And if you have a half a million dollar liability, it wouldn't take all that much for that to become what we call exhausted, meaning the limits have been paid out to the total max payment of a half a million. What do you do after that? Uh, The concern is, do they go after you personally? Do they go after your bank accounts, your retirement accounts, your home, liens, things like that? The umbrella policy kicks in with an additional limit of its own liability, which typically starts at a million dollars, but can go to two, three, four, five, and higher millions of dollars that would protect your assets. Well, recently, when you have explained to us the way uh, deductibles and coverage uh, amounts in auto insurance work out, you said, say, for example, you had a $500 deductible and a $50,000 damage limit, right? Sure. And Property damage, yes. Right. So somebody's got a $55,000 truck, your insurance covers 50000 of it, and then they come to you. You're saying this doesn't happen with the umbrella policy? With the umbrella policy, there are some prerequisites, if you will. So you have to have a minimum amount of liability below that. So okay. the example you're giving of the $50,000 property damage wouldn't qualify as an underlying policy, you would have to have higher coverage than that. But yes, if you're out there and you cause this devastating accident that exceeds the property damage limit you have on your policy, your umbrella policy would kick in. Um, most umbrella policies have a uh, what we call a self-insured retention deductible, uh, typically around $250. And the reason I bring that up is we're talking about bundling and packaging. 
on a lot of companies now, rather than having a totally separate umbrella policy, are packaging it and making it available via endorsement on either a homeowner policy or an automobile policy. It's okay. just a very unique thing. Am I confusing this? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be one of our listeners out there. Does this mean that bundling and umbrella are different? They are. Okay. Umbrella would be available as an additional part of a bundle. Uh, if you're thinking of having more than one policy with a carrier, that would be another opportunity for you is to say, okay, well, now that we've we've bundled my home and auto, which you don't even have to bundle your home and auto necessarily with the same carrier. Some carriers say, hey, as long as we insure your home and we have proof that you have auto insurance that meets what our requirements are, you're fine, or vice versa with the, having the auto and you know, proving proof of homeowner insurance. Um, but when it comes to having more than one policy with a carrier, that certainly is another option to look at. Um, you know, a lot of young folks don't typically think about an umbrella policy. In fact, most folks don't. Um, but if you're a business person or if you're if you have any amount of assets, maybe you have a primary residence. Now you have a secondary property. Maybe you have a camp on a lake or what have you. It's really something you should be thinking about to protect what you have. Because as you explained, if something catastrophic happens, it consumes all the resources you mentioned they'll come for your other assets. They can. Yeah. I mean, you can't get blood from a stone, and I realize that. Um, but believe me, they will try. And if you have that frontline defense of having appropriate liability coverage in your auto policy or in your homeowner policy, and remember that homeowner and auto liability is totally different. So any liability that occurs on the homeowner side would be excluded on the auto side and vice versa. So if you have an automobile accident, the liability from your homeowner policy is not going to be triggered to help you if your auto liability becomes exhausted, that's why an umbrella policy is, is really a key thing to think about. All right. Now we're going to come at it from the other side. It is uh, good for, let's say, you, mm -hmm. right? You're driving. I got to use you and I just because we're here. Sure. Okay. Caused that accident. Well, I got to call for the Wilsons. They were sick of us <laughs> using them as examples. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, last week. <laughs> um, I caused the incident that causes that much much damage. Sure. I obviously have zero money, okay? Uh -huh. I'm not going to be able to pay that out of pocket. I have no assets, period. I don't own any property. My car is worth about $2,500. Yeah. Good for you to know that I've got that umbrella policy. Exactly, because you have that proper level of protection. And let's flip it. Let's say you have no insurance or you're, you're totally underinsured and you are the cause of a, a major accident that's a catastrophic loss for me for bodily injury. There is uninsured motorist on my automobile, but there's also uninsured motorist on my umbrella. And many times people will, you can choose state minimum liability limits for uninsured motorists on an umbrella policy. Don't ever do that. It's a waste of time. Well, we've talked do about the million that. dollars. Do the million dollars. That way you have appropriate protection that can protect you if somebody else, you know, let's think about how people are buying insurance now. A lot of folks are buying insurance based on price, not coverage. They're buying it from, from direct uh, sellers of insurance, either on the online or through the phone or, or via mail. There could be folks making what they think are right decisions that may not be. Uh, and as a result, you need to protect yourself. So that's one of the reasons we bring this up. And we don't want to find out that we don't have enough insurance when we need it. Exactly. And that's, <laughs> and that's always when it happens, Jeff. Yes. Uh, you know, when you, Whenever there's a piece of coverage that you do not have, you find out at the time of loss, which is not good, which is why we recommend a conversation. All right. So join us every week for good policies. Tell them how to get in touch. Sure. Give us a call. 748-5224. Visit us on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury or online at thebarrettagency.com. Facebook, Google Plus, and YouTube is all Barrett Insurance Agents. All right. We'll get this one here uh, packaged up and sent off to you. We Perfect. hope you have a great week. Enjoy the sunshine. You as well. All right. Thank good, you, sir. All right. Good policies. Magic in the morning with you. Tuesday mornings. Let's get back to the music from fun up next.